Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 19th, 2021. Yeah, uh, so there's a feeling crumbling, more crumbling. Just, I'm telling you, like we've been saying this for a while where all the structures are just falling down. And uh, it's gonna get irritating. <laughs> it's gonna get irritating. It's probably a little bit of what was happening last week as well but there is this incredible thing that happens where a new road opens up so this opens up for us as a collective but for us as individuals as well so do not be surprised do not be upset if the people in your world suddenly go you know what this isn't for me anymore i don't feel like there's sudden moves obviously there are very impulsive people out there in the world but I'm not getting a sense of that. This is more uh, sort of the feeling of, okay, I, I think it's time to phase that out so we can bring this new thing in, okay? So it's much more like that. And it's a smooth transition is what they're saying. There's a smooth transition. Now somebody literally is this week going to take over for someone else. <laughs> and so you've known this is coming. And so one person is transitioning out of their position at work and another person is coming in. But the whole idea here is that even though the world is going to feel like it's falling down, we can still have peace. We can still face change with grace. And it's going to be really imperative, they're saying here, to make sure that people, other people in your life, whether they're colleagues or friends or family or love partner or whatever, even your kids, if like, let's say you have kids who are a little bit older, who are like teenagers and they're saying, hey, I don't want you dating yet, mom. Okay, after a divorce, it's not up to them. Let me say that again. It's not up to them. I respect my children's opinion. Okay, respect their feelings, of course. But if you have those kinds of kids who you've allowed to just run you, <laughs> I, somebody out there needs to hear this. So I'm going to lay this down. Um, you know, you have to wake up to that. And this is also that message, let's go back to the original message here of don't let other people run you. Now, if you have friends who have been through what you're going through right now and they see you going down a road and they're like, eh, okay, hang on. When I did that, this, this, and this happened, you just wanna be aware. That's not them trying to control you. I think they're trying to help you. But if, if it's something where I don't even know you anymore, that's a controlling statement, okay? So just be careful around people who aren't giving you room to breathe or room to grow. Or if you have friends who are constantly, you know, diminishing you, even if it's in like a covert kind of way, you don't have to fight them. You don't have to even push back on it, but just make sure that you're not taking that in. That is their story. That's the pool that they're swimming in. You don't have to jump in, okay? <laughs> so you, Keep it steady. Make sure that you're not being uh, sort of informed by your ego and your ego consciousness only. We were talking about that, I believe, in one of the dailies where, you know, sometimes we choose career paths so we can prove our worthiness, so that we can make a parent happy, so that we can make a spouse happy because we get raised, you know, to think that you need this kind of spouse. So you either need to look this way or you need to have this kind of status or what have you. We're starting to wake up to that. And we're starting to do away with some of the more toxic intentions or the, the toxic goals. And that doesn't mean that you're toxic or that you're a bad person. It just means that you're realizing, you know, this is not what I want. This is not what I ever wanted, <laughs> right? I, I wanna be tuned in to me and maybe, maybe you are a Wall Street person, but really you've only wanted to grow organic fruits and veg vegetables on a farm, right? And so <laughs> you might completely give up on New York City and you go to, you know, be a rancher or you go and start a farm somewhere or whatever, right? So it's that kind of feeling where people are doing their turnabouts. We talk about this all the time and they're starting to take a different path. Now we were talking a little bit about, I think again, one of the dailies about people releasing their old patterns. Okay. Releasing old patterns. And that might be, I've always tried to save people. I keep using it as an example. It's the one that I know the best because I've, I've lived it, <laughs> right? but, um, you know, you can apply this to anything that you have an old pattern about. Maybe you have an old pattern of shutting down your heart 
And now you're realizing, you know what, it's time to heal. It's time to allow myself to come on through, okay? Uh, now, I record these ahead of time, especially in the summer, because I never know what is going to be happening week to week with commotion and all that stuff. So by the time this goes up, I'm sure I will have other content over at Gumroad, but there are meditation challenges over there. Get on over there and do some of that internal work. Do your healing, okay? Make sure you are in alignment for these times. Okay, I just got chills down the left side of my body. Turkey, not the animal, not the bird, the country. <laughs> so, so what I'm, let me just explain what I'm feeling and seeing. I'm seeing like, um, what are they called? The, the earthquake lines. What? <laughs> I'm blanking on what they're called. You'll comment down below, I'm sure. Uh, the plates, the tectonic plates. Um, I see a, a, just the way it's coming up for me, I see like a bulge around the plates and that's about to crack. Um, so it could be around Turkey. Now, if we don't actually have an earthquake this week, great. Um, I love being wrong like that. Heck yeah, I'll be wrong like that any old day. My ego ain't that sensitive, okay? <laughs> I want people to, to be safe but please again if you have an intuition about a place or you know or it could be california too like let's say you're in one of those high-rise buildings in los angeles and you're feeling a little bit of a strange feeling get out get out come inland okay don't mess around with that so just be aware of that uh Can you guys be clear on that? I don't want to just keep saying that. Okay, high tides, water crashing into beaches, like violent seas, violent seas. So I don't know if that means storms. We are in storm season, so that would make sense. But I'm feeling more along the West Coast. It could definitely be happening on the East Coast, but um, in the Gulf of the, I'm talking the United States. Sorry, international people. <laughs> um, That's just kind of where I'm feeling. And then around Turkey um, with a potential earthquake or something of, of that sort. Or it could be something that's just found in the ground. Um, and I'm hearing Earth's crust. I don't know anything about this sort of stuff. So I don't know how to put this into context. But uh, I don't know. Be aware. <laughs> just be aware. So all those things, those are always things that could be happening at any old time. What I do here is I bring that information forward so that you remember to listen to your intuition and to be careful with this. Now, on an individual level, uh, this would be, again, something kind of, one thing kind of flowing away and then another coming in. There are things that are still left open. So this isn't really a week of conclusions. Um, I know some of you are like, really? I'm supposed to settle on that or I'm supposed to settle you're not settling on a house <laughs> you're supposed to close on a house or you're supposed to maybe there's an open-ended thing that's been going on or a lawsuit or something and you're just hoping that it comes to some sort of conclusion um it's not but it's because it's working in your favor so be patient as much as you can all right uh you might find that if you're about to close on a house you find that there's something going on with the house it's a quick fix it's not a biggie okay but you got it taken care of or if there's a lawsuit, there's another bit of whatever evidence or something that comes up that might work in your favor, okay? Or some understanding. Always, they're saying, work for a win-win situation in all your human things. <laughs> That's what they're saying because they're talking about lawsuits. So, um, you know, just, just be patient and really put some good energy behind it. I can't tell you how many times people come to me. They really misunderstand what kind of personal readings I do. And they come wanting to know, how do I make the most money in this life? Or how do I win in that lawsuit, right? Um, that's not what I do at all. And if you ever come to me with that kind of question, we're going to look at why you have that kind of perspective, <laughs> right? That's, we're going to go deep. We're going to go into your soul's contract and, and work that out and see what's going on there. But um, as far as just, you know, humans are still human. We still have regular things going on. Try to always go for a win-win outcome. Now, if you are up against somebody who's not interested in a win-win outcome, always protect your energy, stay in alignment, stay strong, and don't let them infiltrate, okay? 
Let's get onto the cards. All right, let's get some more information about this upcoming week. If you would like to get a personal reading with me or an Akashic Records reading, just make sure you note that uh, when you submit your request that you want an Akashic Records reading, go to angelsoulschool44.com. And of course, I still have all the courses and the meditation challenges over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Get on over there and check it out. People are having a lot of fun with it. And I'm so glad to hear it because I put a lot of work into them. <laughs> and I really try to go in there and because I take my time crafting them because I want it to serve you in the best way possible. And that might mean not putting too much information in that maybe you don't really care about uh, and focusing more on how to dive in and do the work. So, and good for everybody who has been doing it. You're really helping your own energy, but the collective energy as well. All right, so let's get some cards. Okay, so first up we have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. We're heading in a very, very, very new direction here. And we have to be willing to let go in order to move on. And this does feel like it's a little frightening for some people because, you know, again, maybe, maybe you haven't dated in a while or maybe you haven't been in love in a while or maybe it's been a while since you've worked. You know, I, I think a lot of people got used to being at home with their family and, and being able to work from their home. And so, you know, now you, we're kind of recrafting how we approach our lives. And this is saying, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And just make sure that whatever you're trying to accomplish here, you're not just doing it so that you seem worthy. You are already worthy. No matter what wiring got snipped in your brain from trauma, okay, that's no small thing. That's no small thing. But whatever made you deny your heart for some of you or to close down your heart or, you know, to make you feel like you're not good enough unless you're doing all kinds of crazy things out in the world. <laughs> Don't worry about that anymore. Step out of that comfort zone and start tuning into who you are now. Because anybody who's watching this, not a one of us is the same person that we were just a year and a half ago. Not a one of us. So it really is time to sit with who we have become and how have our priorities shifted? We're already seeing a lot of people leaving the big cities and trying to flood into small towns. Why? Simpler life, less hectic, maybe more affordable for now until everybody floods in there and then, you know, it's not gonna be affordable anymore. But, <laughs> but I think a lot of people too, again, they're going from, you know, some high powered job and they're taking something that Maybe doesn't have as much status, but they really enjoy it. They really, really love it. Okay. Oh, I need that card. Hold on. Let me put that aside so I can do my little B-roll. <laughs> okay. So next card out here we have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So th this feels like a conflicting story. It's this, it's that. No, 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 no. Don't listen to those people. It's this and you need to, blah, you know, all this stuff. So <laughs> the, the truth will be revealed and all the information that will help us move forward is coming. Okay. Now for some out there, and I feel this situation too, uh, you might've had somebody in your life who you feel is incredibly toxic, but yet you felt very drawn to them. And this is where we start getting into that dangerous territory of, we're soulmates, we're meant to be together, no matter what, you know, we, we're stuck with each other. No, no, okay, that's not how that goes. And we need y'all to clean it up, okay? Because nobody can be putting, I was gonna say nobody can be putting bad energy out there. But really, we want everyone to be happy and to not be struggling and, you know, to be learning our lessons, hopefully in a more peaceful way. <laughs> we can believe in the impossible, right? So the answers you need are coming. This will help kind of shed light on what truly was going on in a certain relationship dynamic. This does not mean I knew he was cheating on me. No, I'm talking about why you attracted in that person, why you are choosing that person. And maybe it, even, maybe even, why did you hang on to a story? I will never be a spiritual practitioner who just goes along with the crowd and goes along with the nice, nice neat little stories because it gets views and it sells readings. Type amen down below. Never will you get that from me. What we need to look at this week is what are the stories we tell ourselves? That person's my twin flame, I have to stay with them. Nonsense. 
that person is my soulmate. He's in my world or she's in my world for me to save them. Nonsense. You're here to learn off of each other. That's why I say you know, the soulmates are real pains in the behind, okay? <laughs> you think it's going to be happily ever after now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, so just be careful with that. Examine that. Give yourself a chance to learn the real lesson that's there and don't get hung up in the story that you tell yourself. All right, because baby, there's a new start coming. Yes, I wore my hoops for this one, okay? Because <laughs> I need it for when I shake my head around. A new start is coming, new moon, okay? Can I get an amen for the hoops too? Thanks. All right more about what they represent okay <laughs> a new start is coming new moon this is a new approach this is not just telling yourself the old story this is not just hanging with what you think again it's about having value yes they're, they're saying humans are finally waking up to the fact that they make so many poor choices for well me too for ourselves humans make so many you know poor choices because we're trying to have meaning and we're missing the point What is your new start going to look like? It's going to look like a new job because those people are so toxic. And you missed the point. I'm going to leave that relationship because he doesn't give me all the attention. You missed the point. That new start has nothing to do with starting out there. You will fail. You'll always be spinning your wheels. And you might have a short-term victory. You say, no, look at me. I'm with my soulmate and I, if I had listened to you, Michelle, I wouldn't be with my soulmate. Talk to me in a couple of months. Yeah, when the shine wears off and the devaluing phase starts because maybe you did get with a narcissist or you got with somebody who's toxic, you know. And again, not all, I want to, please, I'm not trying to say all narcissists are evil. <laughs> I'm not. They were wounded too, not making excuses for bad behavior. And yeah, this is an audience of empaths for the most part. So a lot of us do get real hyper about that. Like don't defend the narcissist, but um, you know, their wiring is their wiring and they are where they are. And I don't, not, I don't know that they're always doing things intentionally. I kind of wonder, like, I don't think they can help it. I don't really understand it too well. But, uh, <laughs> but the point here is that we have to work on our internal selves and, and sort of, you know, in order to have this new start, we have to start within, within, now, not out there, okay, within. And then from that standpoint, from that energetic standpoint, now we make different choices, okay? And now we might even be drawing in different people in different situations. That's how we'll have luck on our side. <laughs> I don't, I felt like, a okay, I felt like I had to pause because I'm like, the, this is going to finish my statement. And there you go. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. So see how all this stuff, we had to kind of go through this like last little bit of cleanup to get on to this new phase. And you're heading in a good direction. All right. But again, it has to come from within and resetting your priorities. And when we say luck is on your side, that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody else gets torn down. I mean, if, come on. If you're in that mindset, are you really here? I always said I would take 100,000 subscribers who are truly engaged and present than a million who are just here for the entertainment. You know, <laughs> you'd be here for the entertainment value. Sure. Why not? Uh, I don't know how entertaining I am today, but <laughs> welcome. But, you know, stay engaged. Stay engaged. Really take it in. All right. Oh, there's the card already. Apricot. Rejoice and laugh. The number is 20. This is our time. This is our time. It's a much needed break. It's a much needed shift. We're, I think what we're cracking out of is this whole idea. We keep saying this over and over and over. I think I'm only worthy if I do this. I'm only worthy if I do that. I'm only, ugh. And so we get so obsessed with what's going on outside of us. And that really is a very cerebral approach to life. And what happens? You're leaving your heart out of it. The heart's disconnected. Hello? That's half your, you got one engine out. Like what? <laughs> Oh, you fly in this bird. I don't know. You know so, <laughs> so make sure you are, you know, online with yourself and find time for joy. Find time for relaxation. Okay. And one of the things that I, I think I want to make a goal for this week. I don't read enough. Now I read lots of like spiritual materials and, you know, I'm always researching like that, but I don't usually read for fun. Like I don't just pick up that fiction novel and just like, it's just a fun story and I just, sit out on my balcony and, and let myself read. 
it's always for something. So I'm gonna make it a goal to read something fun. <laughs> Maybe even something that's funny, right? So, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something else here, let me. They're bringing me to the sacral chakra. There, okay, so there's lots of things going on. Sorry, sorry for the long pause there. I'll try to edit this out. Um, so there's something there about creative, something creative, doing something creative. Uh, so this might be like, it could be silly. It doesn't have to be like you're creating a masterpiece. Make macaroni artwork if you want. If you are lucky enough to have a beautiful child there with you, honor that child, honor that child's energy. Don't spoil them, of course. <laughs> we don't need people growing up to think that they're the center of the universe. But um, <laughs> gotta play nice with others, right? But you know, sit down with that child and do an art project and just you know, be a big kid. Do finger painting or, or something like that. There's a big message here of you know, connecting with that inner child. And um, yeah, they're saying the, the, the spark of life will start to come back. It doesn't have to be grandiose. It doesn't have to be something over the top. Just do whatever makes you feel like a big kid, okay? Do whatever you can to have fun, to ignite that spark in your life again. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. Have a great week. There's a nice turnaround going on here. Enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sending you so much love and take care.